So I want to tell you a quick story about this dry spot here in my backyard. I found and fixed the issue just yesterday, but as I was thinking about it, I thought this might be a good thing to share with you guys just in case you're diagnosing a spot like this that's clearly heat stressed and trying to figure out what's causing it. So I want to walk you through what my thought process was while I worked to resolve this issue and I can tell you right now it's already improved. Here we go. The interesting thing about this section of my backyard is that this is the only zone right here, you're looking at the entire zone, it's just this little cutout into the back patio and then this little ramp up to the gate. This is the only zone in my backyard that is covered by pop-up heads. All right, so right here is the pop-up head that sprays the area across the way here that's struggling. Now, what I did was I first ran the sprinklers to make sure that they were spraying in the direction that they were supposed to be spraying. Now, one of the first things that I noticed was with this particular spray head, uh, the spray pattern, which sprays over into this corner here and down the line uh, across the edge of the grass this way. Now, what I noticed was that there was a gap in the spray pattern in the nozzle here in the same general direction that that dry spot's located. So what I did was I propped up the sprinkler head just like it is now and I looked in the opening where the water comes out and I noticed that there was a small little impediment in the gap here blocking water from spraying into that spot. So I went ahead and just pulled the top off of this. These just unscrew, if you didn't know that. Um, I just unscrewed the nozzle from the sprinkler and uh, took it apart and just kind of got uh, that little impediment. It was like a little teeny tiny rock, just big enough to fit in that gap. And just kind of interesting to think about because every time the sprinklers are done, they go back into the ground. And that hole where the water comes out never closes. So any kind of, um, you know, loose dirt or uh, rocks or pebbles or whatever, anything that can wash into that and get stuck is going to get in there. So kind of interesting, just something to keep an eye on if you have pop-up sprinklers. Uh, so I did get it out, uh, did readjust the spray pattern to make sure I'm getting the coverage that I need. So now I no longer have a gap in this, in this spray pattern and I know for a fact that water is now spraying into this dry spot that I'm trying to fix. And even after just running it for 10 minutes yesterday, there's already a noticeable improvement in the recovery of this spot. So there you go, just a quick tip there, uh, just something else to consider if you're trying to figure out why you have a dry spot or a heat stress spot in your lawn. It could be one of several different things, whether it's sprinkler coverage, whether there's um, gravel or rocks, or the area is just very compacted. To add to that list, just one more thing, check your sprinklers. Make sure that your sprinklers are not only covering the area sufficiently, but that they're also working properly and as expected. So hope that's helpful for you. If you have any other questions about that, please let me know down in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.